We started off the project with a lecture at Lauderdale House and students were told about the history of Lauderdale House, Sir Sidney Waterloo who set up this park. There was one overall brief for all students which was simply called Park and that talked about the idea of, of asking some simple questions. What is a park and what would it be like for you to show in a very different context to what you're used to doing as students? often sort of you have the sort of the clean gallery space the clean white walls so it was interesting to work with a different surrounding and think about how the shapes and how materials would look um, in relation to where they were situated. This is an opportunity for every single one of our fine arts students to show some kind of piece of work. I came here on Friday morning when it was uh, just been you know all the artworks were installed and it, it just changes your thinking on a dog walk. Suddenly you've got sort of bits of artwork that stop you in your tracks and make you, um, make you think for a, for, for a short moment. Um, I made a piece that's on display in front of Lordale House and it's called Look See. So I really wanted people to really engage with the park by looking through my sculpture at the park. What's, what's nice about kind of working in a public space like this is that you, you can hear people commenting on your work and stuff and um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in working kind of more with, with the public in general um, in the future. I produced a 4D piece, a video piece on the bloom of life in the park. And basically it, it's about how the park in this season is currently very, very, very dead, very brown. And I just had my models dressed um, really colourful and played these characters where they, their movement with this rhythm kind of creates a lot of bloom in life. I've just done a project for Park with um, my friend Ika Schwander. So it was a collaboration project and the film was called Fuck Sapiens. We were looking at the human and animal relationship and we kind of wanted to demonstrate this through moving image. So originally we were supposed to be doing a performance, like a live performance, inside um, the Avery attached to Lux inside Waterloo Park. Um, but due to council regulations, we couldn't, and we decided to make a film of our performance and show it in the screening room at Lux. But it actually turned out to be far more exciting that way. 2D students did a project called Painting at the Edge of the World which was really about asking where does a painting begin and where does a painting end. So this piece behind me is called Ismailea 1975 and it's a painting of my dad and his dad. I used manual plastic to filter the painting and then work from the photographs that I created with that plastic and um, yeah, inverted all the colours and created this piece behind me. We were looking at how you can create a painting that doesn't sort of follow the conventions of painting. The calibre of the work is, one, it's sort of executed really well. I think some of the artworks are really well built and really well conceived. Uh, but at 18, I couldn't do that. I've actually loved this project, loved it so much. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's for everyone. It would be fantastic if there's a 10 year old who comes to this and they never ever thought that they would want to do art and a little seed has been planted and they think to themselves I might want to go to art school or I might want to apply to, to do a foundation course at, at CSM.